Jason Hopkins has always dreamed of being an astronaut. As a little boy, he built spaceships out of Legos, and his mother's laundry basket served as an orbiter for him and his little brother Mark, a more reluctant astronaut. Space camp was the perfect place for Jason, who charged into every activity both times he came. After going to space camp, I knew I wanted to go to school and work on the space shuttle until I was old enough to become an astronaut. Even after he got home, he carried his space camp logbook everywhere, quoting shuttle facts to anyone who would listen. It was very clear where her son was headed, Jason's mom, Glenda Young, said. A degree in aerospace engineering from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University followed, as well as a master's from George Washington University. In 2004, he joined Lockheed Martin to work on satellites and then the Orion program. Kelvin Manning met Jason while he was at Lockheed Martin. He was young, but very knowledgeable and very enthusiastic and very, very capable, said Kelvin. In 2009, Jason joined NASA, where his abilities and his personality helped him soar. Among other jobs, Jason managed the daily operations of Kennedy's massive vehicle assembly building, overseeing more than 200 contractors and NASA employees in that historic facility. When the time came to send someone to Washington to advise Senator Bill Nelson, chairman of the Senate's Science and Space Subcommittee, Jason was the obvious choice. We are only going to send our best folks, Kelvin said. In his year as a NASA fellow, Jason helped craft the language that would become the NASA Authorization Act of 2013. Last August, Jason took the leap to the commercial space industry, joining Maston Space Systems, working as an engineer and in business development. The company is working on high-altitude lander technology, lunar landers, and a reusable launch craft. He hasn't given up on his dream of spaceflight for himself, though. He made it into the top 10% of the last round of astronaut applications, and he was one of more than 18,000 who recently applied for the next class. He shares that interest with his daughter, Ariana, who at six loves science and is super curious, her dad said. We go out and look at the stars together, Jason said. He also mentors young people who have the same passion for space as he did when he was their age. One of those is Parker Hagen, who nominated Jason for the Space Camp Hall of Fame. The two bonded after they met at a talk Jason gave at KSC when Jason noticed Parker's Space Camp t-shirt. I met Mr. Hopkins at the Kennedy Space Center during a presentation for the Orion test flight. He deserves this reward because he's very dedicated to making sure that we get into space. I nominated because he will continue to encourage young people to go into space and he will set a great example.